Hello and welcome. I'm Aid. Welcome to AG Engineering YouTube channel. If you're watching this, this is the third video that I've done for YouTube. I've uh, hopefully by this time made a few changes. I found that uploading videos to YouTube was very slow, so I'm doing something obviously wrong here, or I could do something different. So. Uh, Searching around on the internet I found a program called Handbrake which should compress the video before I send it to YouTube. So we'll, we'll see how that pans out. Um, I find I'm eating batteries. I'm using ordinary alkaline batteries. So I'm buying and buying some of the pack full. My, my rechargeables are, are knackered so we can't use them. Uh, so there's a, there's a mains adapter on the way for the... Uh, the Nikon camera that I'm, I'm still using. I've also bought uh, recently a little SJ cam. These little GoPro type um, type copies and uh, I had a little play with it. The audio is not fantastic so I might have to do something on that but uh, I'll try and do a, a little bit of uh, footage on that. Hopefully it's, uh, it's the right sort of thing for the uh, the back of the lathe here and, and some close up or wide angle action shots so uh, I'll try and include some of that footage if I get some in the uh, the next videos. This, um, this part actually introduces the next video I've already um, got recorded uh, for a, a week or so ago. It's, uh, it's one on making a a guide fence for a Wadkin planer. Uh, I introduce it as a Tuesday toolbox thing, but uh, again, that's an idea I'm playing about with. So we'll uh, we'll have to divide this one up into several parts because it's quite quite long. Uh, hopefully, you find it interesting. I go through a few different techniques of even drilling, locating, and drilling holes and tapping holes and things like that. There's some some milling involved. Uh, quite a bit of milling, a long length you'll see. So um, without wasting any more time, in theory we should be fading sort of that way by now and uh, the video starts. So uh, I'll see you next time I uh, catch up. Hello, welcome Bye to uh, enjoy the video. another episode of Tuesday Toolbox. We've got a, a Wadkin planer guide bar which is uh, which is broken to to sort out tonight it's uh, it appears to be cast iron from the uh, the grain structure it's been welded previously and uh, as you can see it's in two halves rather than go down the route of trying to re-weld it what was originally obviously quite a weak design uh, the other options are to mill it out of a piece of solid, which would take quite a bit of milling on the uh, from the thicker sections down to the, the thinner areas there. We've decided to make it out of bright mild but in two two parts. Thicken it up a little bit, up to 10 mil from the original round about five millimetres, and uh, make the the top section separate, literally just cut off with the bandsaw, cleaned up a little. All these are for is to clear the, the cutter heads. They don't have to be that elaborate. The original design looked as though it was milled vertically. There's, there's three steps there where it's gone down or it may have been horizontally milled with a gang cutter and done it in, in the three cutters but uh, it's not don't consider it necessary for the function of the piece to be made in that manner and it certainly be very expensive to replace that way there are a couple of a uh, couple of other features on the back there's a, a bit of a pocket mill there that's for the the cam lock adjuster and a slot, 5mm wide slot running down the full length of the, the bar 
which is for a cable, a bowden type cable that goes to the other end to, uh, to facilitate the clamping of the, the two end pieces to lock the, lock the side guide in place. A little pointer there, a couple of holes, a couple of M10 tapped, tapped holes there for the, the front piece which slides along a, along a guide and uh, a piece of about 19mm slot along the back there for uh, location at the other, the other part. So quite a few features to mill. Um, plan of action I think is to uh, to start off by setting this up square in the mill table and uh, doing the features of the back of the uh, of the piece on the on the one part. So I've got a got a pocket mill in there, I slot the full length. Then working from the other side we'll cut up the sections for the, the top pieces. Three sections there to to cut up. Um, Rather than weld and risk any distortion, simply drill and tap the lower piece, some cannon can screws into the uh, into the lower piece from the top, and literally bolt them on. Uh, then we'll finish off with the features, the the tapped holes there for the guides and the uh, and the front section to bolt to, and when it's a completed bolted up assembly, we'll mill out the the 19mm uh, mil slot there and another little tap hole for another little uh, indicator or whatever that feature is for. Ok we'll start off with a little bit of layout um, before we start the milling process. <coughs> we'll to length first off. Clean up. Nothing too, too toxic here, it's nothing but a methylated spirit. Piece the two pieces together, establish a, a length that ends reasonable to start with. Right, we'll leave a little bit on, just about a a mill or so, sixteenth, something like that, to uh, to give us an end to clean up. We'll just piece those two pieces back together like that. Right. I know from uh, from looking at this, it's not critical. Old trick of the marker pen. The marker pen that works well enough. Find a better one. Win the bit. That's better. Double check. Measure twice, cut once. across there. Again we'll leave a little bit on it. And scribe our line. Get to the bandsaw and we'll cut that to length. Okay, start it going. Fairly straight at that. 
find it much easier than a hand hacksaw. less sparks for the workshop than using an angle grinder or a cutting disc. Okay, quick and simple layout. Just to give us a guide as to where we're going. We'll set it up when it's on the mill to uh, edge find it across and uh, set it up with a digital lead out. But uh, always nice to have a, a bit of an idea where you're going. So we've got some Layout ink. I'm just giving it a light coating of that. Wait for that to go off, which takes a while. It's, uh, it's a bit cold out here, so uh, yeah, I'm just using that just to uh, give us a bit of contrast. Okay, a quick dry with the uh, the heat gun. Set of old blade calipers, and we just set it to the existing line. Keep them nice and straight, and in the same position. And we scribe a line down, just to give us a reference. length of the workpiece. And we set up again working off the same edge so we've got one date and point and these unfortunate stiff joint calipers which are very stiff. We'll just set that up. Well, that's giving us a nice guide for where we're putting our 5mm slot a little later on. And it's the same for the other end. Get the width of our slot. Mark that on. Well past where we need to be. So we know we've got it. end of the material is the same. And our slot this end is a duplicate, it's just pocket milled instead of straight through. And put a couple of lines down there. As well, Pretty sure we've got the full length. Yes, we have. The holes, the threaded holes, a little later on, we've got the basic features in place. We'll probably just use transfer punches to uh, to mark them through. Ready for uh, ready for drilling and tapping. Another one down there. Nicely. And the other end, yeah, that's the same again. It's almost a, almost a mirror image end to end. Nice little line down there. 
as good as I died. The final length, we need to trim a little bit off this end. So uh, we'll get that one in first and then we'll uh, we'll do some more measurement and make sure we get that that to the end although as I say for this application I don't think it's major critical that it's uh, that it ends perfectly. <laughs> 